Sick, sick, Talk sick. some shit back and dropped a, a diss track. And now we're waiting for Rick uh, Drake to, to bounce back and say some shit. He's you got know? It he's seems got like something. on social media, uh, Rick Ross has been winning, bro. Uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a lot of hype, too. Like you were saying I, off camera. Yeah. I mean, Rick Ross is a lot more active on social media in general. Yeah. But I feel like Drake, he'll move in silence and then bang. What's up? What's up, fam? Ladies and gents, appreciate you. Appreciate as always. you guys joining us on the live stream. So again, we're going to be doing this shit every Wednesday. So uh, yeah, man, when you guys want to talk shit and uh, have fun with us and you know just say hello, join us on Wednesdays and we'll be doing this. Shoot us in the chat. Hump Day Chronicles, baby. What's cracking? Hump so Day Chronicles. The whole point of Hump Days is um, just Tyler and I, more shit just to us two, and uh, talking about what's live in the week and what's going on. You know what I mean? It's like current events. What's going on this week? Uh, we got a couple of different topics for you guys coming in a bit. Um, but yeah, that's the whole point of this is just um, keeping more live, interactive, and, uh, you know, talk shit with you guys, man. So I think this is going to be a little fun as opposed to just uh, doing the person interviews all the time. And uh, yeah, here we are. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> so second week of doing this, the first week. It kind of uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> it a, was a flop for sure, Literally. but uh, we're, we're back. We got it. We got it. Yeah, no, the first week we uh, tried to figure out how to do the whole live stream stuff. And obviously there were some things that we didn't know that we needed to do. So it wasn't working properly, but uh, I think it's working pretty, pretty well now. huh? Yeah, we see the chat. We got Bandy, DJ, Daisy. What's up, D? Who did hey. our makeup? Myself, girl. What's Hell up? Hell yeah. Hey, what's up, D? You got the Champions League, baby. Hala Madrid. What's up? Shit. Right. Real shall Madrid, we? they won today in fucking penalties, bro. Shall we? Shall we? Hell Let's yeah. Go. Let's get it. All so, right. I, I mean, yeah. So, we're just talking about the most current and uh, popping shit of the week. Let's start it off with BBL Drizzy. Let's do it. White boy. White boy. So, we got beef right now, dog. We got beef right tell now. Tell me, tell me, what is with it? With Drake and the whole music industry, it seems like, bro. Drake versus he, everybody. 20v1, or what did he say? He said 20v1. Yeah. He's got what? It started with K-Dot, Kendrick Lamar, threw shots at him. He I threw it back. Kendrick. I love Kendrick. Then what? Ross jumped on the train. He's shooting at uh, Metro, Future, all The Weeknd. All of them, yeah. Crazy. Fucking, yeah, he's Crazy. talking shit. Um, so I guess Rick Ross, what? Uh, win at him because he put a, because Drake put a season desist on French Montana. Yeah, one French That's Montana crazy. tried to put out an album and uh, BBL Drizzy <laughs> uh, had to put a halt to that. So our boy Ricky Rose stopped in and fucking sick, sick, talked sick. some shit back and dropped a, a diss track. And now we're waiting for Rick uh, Drake to to bounce back and say some shit. He's you got. Know? It seems like something. on social media, uh, Rick Ross has been winning, bro. Uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a lot of hype, too, like you were saying uh, off camera. Yeah. I mean, Rick Ross is a lot more active on social media in general. Yeah. But I feel like Drake, he'll move in silence and then bang. We'll see, he'll drop man. something. We'll see. He drops bangers for sure, but uh, motherfucker needs to drop some shit and let it happen. You know what I mean? It's just crazy to me, though, bro. Like, any <laughs> feature that Drake is on levels them up. Future, like he said... You got your number one cousin me, like throwing shots at future. Rick Ross. I mean, I love Ross. He's from the 305. We're in Miami now, but it's like, bro, I don't know how you go at Drake. I don't know if there's some like underlying shit that happened and now it's like all know. coming to light. Who do you think is more balling? In terms of what? Just balling, balling. Who do you think is more balling? Ricky <laughs> Rose or, or Drizzy? I mean, status. BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. We'll get into that real quick. Uh, I mean, status Drake for sure. Money-wise, I have no idea. I mean, Rick Ross has a freaking compound in where? Atlanta, I think? Georgia or something? Yeah, bro. 40, Big ass thing. 40,000 square feet, it looks like. And his whole like front lawn is probably three, four times Drake's pad. Yeah, like but that. then the pad he bought on Star Island here in Miami, the whole lot is the size of Drake's house. Bro, but he just tore that whole shit yeah, down, Yeah, but bro, still. And rebuilt so, it. I don't know. So how much is know. it? You know real estate. It's, it's, it's 30, 30 mil, right? And for them to break it down and rebuild it, does that mean that 30 mil goes to wash and then it's a new... I mean, it's like, not wash, but yeah, you're just buying the dirt. 
So he paid 30 mil for the dirt and rebuilding yeah. some shit. Yeah, but Jeff Bezos paid almost 100 mil well, for the dirt. That's Jeff Bezos, bro. You can't. <laughs> I'm just saying. Man. But I don't know. Here, look what we got in the chat. We got a uh, Bandy Drake. Drake for status and money, high key. I don't know about the money part, my guy, but uh, for sure the status. Bandy, sure the status. what's up, baby? You know it's Ricky Rose all day. I don't know. This guy's on the <laughs> this guy's on the everybody train. I'm on the Drizzy. I, I, I love know. Drake, man, but fucking Rick Ross. Like we said, we bars. don't know. But yeah, so tell tell us about why does uh, why is Drake or why is Ross saying the BBL stuff? Well, because fucking Drake got a BBL dog. I mean, not a BBL where he got his ass done, but bro, he got fucking abs done. He went to fucking Colombia and got his shit fucking chiseled in. Yeah. He got a nose job, according to Rick Ross. You know what I mean? Trying to be a white boy. I mean, Ross lost white a bunch boy. of weight, though. You think he did that? No lipo? No nothing? So I, I feel know. like Drake has some shit. I don't know. They all got shit on each other. Yeah, no. I Straight just, up. No one's, so. no one's really uh, said anything about Ross, so I'm fucking curious to see what Drake says coming up, man. You know yeah. what I mean? So that should be tight, man. And next up, we got our boy, the Diddler. The Diddler. P. Diddy. P. Diddy Dog, doing some fucking that shit. shit is nuts. Do you believe it? Yeah, for sure. At least some of it. What what like what do you mean some of it? Some of it meaning there's some truth to the allegations because if all the allegations were false, he wouldn't flee the country. Wouldn't have paid off his or his ex girl, whatever. Wouldn't have done that. Money. Wouldn't uh, or I feel like other artists in the industry or celebrities in general that are tied to Diddy, been at his parties, been rocking with him. What are they called? From the, back the in the day. Offs? Yeah, like <laughs> they, they they would be coming to his defense on social media, in the news, and like it's just silent. I mean, yeah, but you think so, about it and like how those there's got to be some truth. How those parties go down, like there's for sure, like you know that whole strippers and sex stuff and crazy shit. Um, but I don't know, man. Even before that stuff, Diddler's been fucking on the radar a little bit, you know, up and down, hush and hush and not like. The whole shit with fucking Biggie Smalls, even fucking yeah. back in the day. Like, was he yeah. involved in that shit, too? I don't know. You know what I mean? You see videos of him and Justin Bieber. Like, people say he violated Bieber and Usher, Usher, some other artists. He was like you know 14. I mean? Like, it's crazy. I have no idea. I don't know. I never would have thought, but. So were, wow. these, were these artists, like, do shit that this guy's requesting of them in order to reach, like, a higher status? 100 percent yeah i i think i think that for sure yeah so i'm curious to see what's gonna happen man I, I don't know what's gonna come up in the final kind of uh you know lawsuit or whatever because there's a lot of allegations right now i mean he straight um, up took his jet to aruba or some shit and said peace out while his cribs in la and miami got raided by the feds he got a he had a so obviously there's some truth to that like but, the sex trafficking is the wildest part i think like not it like not to downplay the sexual allegations like with other celebrities violating Downplay. him. Sex trafficking is fucking but huge, sex, bro. No, I'm saying sex trafficking, I think, is a leg above like a little bit in a sense of him groping someone, even though that's not okay by any means or whatever. But the sex trafficking, that's the wild allegation. Like that, I don't I mean, know. We're I'm talking Epstein number two. Well, what kind of fucking pisses me off a little bit is the whole Epstein stuff got kind of pushed under the rug a little bit, dog. You know what I mean? It did. But then with Diddy. Well, and he's dead, so. So they can't come after anyone. That's anymore. a whole another you know topic I mean? in and of itself. Can you imagine, bro? Yeah. Did he fucking commit suicide or I, did he? No. Someone off them in yeah, that jail cell. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I don't know, man. I want to see that list. I mean, not just see the list because we know there's a lot of people that visited the island and kind of kicked it. But, um, bro, Hollywood is just a dirty, dirty word. fucking circle, man. I don't, I don't even want to know. know. I don't I, even want to know. I mean,. Not that I don't want to know, but I kind of want to know to fucking cancel these motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, they People just have so much status and shit. power and money. It's like, it's crazy. So, so with, with the whole Diddy thing, bro, I, I don't think it was him getting caught up. Um, you know how they said that he had a bunch of like cameras and shit in his houses? Yeah. I think it's someone in those videotapes of higher status than Diddy. Maybe. Was like, hey, go raid this motherfucker. Take all the footage before I get caught up. So I think it was someone above mm. Diddy that kind of fucking did that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I don't know, okay. man. I don't know. So we'll fucking see. That, real, I'm excited. Real quick, yeah. let's check the Not chat. Not excited, but yeah. So 
We got the Rocio sisters, what they say. It's the ones you least expect. Okay, yeah. I mean, What'd she say? I never really would expect Diddy. She said the ones that, it's the ones you least expect that get caught up in shit like this. I, I, ex- I expect it from the more people in power, though. Yeah, I mean, but it's did a- you ever think in a million years, like P. Diddy, a mogul, would be caught up with sex trafficking, sexual assault allegations on men? It doesn't surprise me, bro. Yeah, someone but like a little much, bit. Someone with that much power? Like, he's an icon, bro. Yeah. He's had his hands in everything, literally. No pun intended. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And then uh, what? Alexis said, a majority of those people with uh, affluence are some way or another involved in some weird shit. I mean, just like you said, yeah, not Hollywood, surprised, Hollywood, I guess. You know. Shoot. What else? What else you got for us? The Gross. Diddler. <laughs> Man. Um, all right. What we got next? Bro, this Raptors boy. That's that's more than you right there. No, oh, got, oh, Tani. Oh, 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 damn. We got both. Some money, money, money. Some the sports fucking. gambling allegations. We got uh, Shohei Otani. Is that how yeah. you say his name? Shohei from the Otani. Dodgers. Uh, his translator, right? Yeah. And then yeah. we got an NBA player on the Toronto Raptors, Jonte uh, how, how much Porter. was the Otani thing? So... Shohan Otani's translator was caught taking like 16 million from his from bank account, Otani's bro. bank account no way. and using it to gamble on Otani's plays and other MLB shit. And it literally just a couple of days ago, Otani is scotch clear of everything, all the <laughs> allegations. So supposedly, you know, if you follow the news, he 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 didn't know anything about it. Supposedly, allegedly. Do you guys think he had you know, allegedly anything to do with it or not? How do you not know sixteen millions getting taken out? So of your here's the thing that we were talking about off camera. This dude just got signed. I don't know how many years, but he got paid three quarters of a billion dollars, seven hundred and fifty mil. Yeah. And you're telling me that he didn't know someone was in his own bank account spending his money, regardless of what it was, let alone it being gambling. Come on. If you were that balling, do you think you'd and have And the like MLB a, just went. Do you think you'd like maybe kind of would be you? a little. I wouldn't you, let anyone just touch no, my no, money no, like not, that. Not let anyone touch my money, but would you, you know, gamble and bet on yourself? Fuck no. Dog, you just made three quarters of a billion. You know well, how much then, money that is? We go to this other guy, bro, from the Raptors. He, uh, our John boy. Tate Porter. John Tate Porter. Same thing. He's banned from the NBA for Canada, life. Canada, eh? Yeah, bro. Banned for life. For life. So that shit's nuts. Pro fucking ball player just gets banned from ever being able to step on the court ever again on on anything. So he bet what'd you say like eighty k? Eighty k to win a to couple win mil. like one point something mil. Yeah. So how much is his contract? A couple mil. A couple. So you bet eighty k. But over the years, you're making two three million a year in one fucking bet. You made a, a now he ain't gonna make shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, I just man. don't understand it. I get it. We're all human. People make mistakes, but just like when you're at that status, even if you're not in the limelight, like Otani is the biggest person in sports besides what Messi worldwide. I mean, uh, I mean, not just cur- the U S currently active playing. Probably. I mean, Otani's across all sports. Otani's a fucking child of the MLB. So I can see how, you know, they figured out a way to of take the blame from him his fucking translator took the whole fucking blame. Is it on the news anymore? No, nope. it's not. Yeah. And we're here talking about it still. That's but crazy though. So nuts. yeah, a couple of days ago, all the all the charges got not dropped, but like they were never they, on Otani. Yeah. So just it was just his name got, you know, swiped and clean now. So yeah, his, his translator is the one it. that's fucked. He's gonna do a couple years in prison. Uh for Does betting. he have to pay that shit back? Because I don't know how he's gonna afford sixteen mil. Oh, Otani's people are going to take care of him, bro. Yeah, but they he'll, just, shut the fuck he'll up. just file bankruptcy and say late. Yeah, his people told he'll him. He'll go back to China or North Korea or whatever the fuck it is. They said shut the fuck up and uh, take this payday. Once you get out, you and your people are clean. But um, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know people like that, man. So yeah, once you're in sports and you make it to the big leagues, would you bet on yourself? I mean, always bet on yourself, just not in freaking <laughs> sports gambling. God damn. All right, what we got? <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, I, oh fuck! Controversial right here. I'm scared to talk about this topic because there's a lot of people on fucking both sides of the page here. So if you guys can't read that, 
it's uh, Iran, Iran, however you want to pronounce it. All the stuff going on over there. Uh, so t- tell us how to, how to how to start. Touchy Give subject. us a little synopsis. I mean, of how I'm, it started, I'm not right? too much of a politician to where I can kind of break but it just down so much synopsis. for you guys. But what is it? So Israel. I, Israel is the bombed. superpower, right? So they are powered and backed by the USA, the good old USA, where the USA is sending them millions and millions of dollars to uh, continue what they're doing. And they've been bombing the shit out of Gaza and other places in the, you know, Palestine, Palestine. And it's fucked up, you know, cause, um, innocent people are dying, you know, uh, I get it. The whole territorial thing, but, um, that goes back centuries, man, to where, yeah, you nice. know, who owns who, but I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but Palestine was there first and then Israel tried to take that land over and because they're so connected with the United States and the Jewish government is backed by the U.S., the U.S. is backing them and playing this sort of kind of idea with, you know, what's going on. Um, It's fucked up, man. So, yeah. And then they're getting fucking bombed. Well, now Iran or Iran bombed Israel. Bro, they got to have fucking at some point, <laughs> so bro, it's like, at some point when fucking all your people are dying, can you imagine not doing something back? What are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. You know? it, it's crazy. My biggest take is is peace to both. You know what I mean? I just wish for fucking peace to both sides, but we know in wars that's not really going to happen. There's always going to be someone that loses. Um, so I don't know. It's fucked up, bro. It's sad. It sucks. It you does, know. but I wish it would just stop, um, and they'd figure it out a different way, as opposed to having innocent people, you know, being in the middle of it and fucking dying, bro. You see a lot of kids, a lot of yeah, bro, you know, innocent people, people for no reason, people in hospitals, you know, um, that have I don't want to say nothing to do with it, but like aren't the ones fighting at the forefront? You know what I mean? Like, why would you kill innocent people and? You think that's okay. You know, yeah. that's fucked up. I mean, again, we're not too versed on it, so we don't want to misspeak or anything, but, you know, we want to bring up stuff that's going on. But free Palestine. Free Palestine. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my, you know, uh, Jewish brothers and all that stuff, but shout out to my uh, Muslims as well. Those are my dogs. Uh, uh, Was it? Um, what just Ramadan just ended. So shout out to you guys that, you know, took place in that too. Uh, I got a couple homies that, you know, do that stuff and, and uh, do the whole Ramadan. That's crazy, too, bro. Ramadan's nuts, it you is. know, for all the Muslims oh, yeah. that do it. No it's eating a- and no drinking <laughs> anything, not even water from sun up to sun down. That is crazy. For what, 40 days? 30 days a month. 30 days. Yeah, it's a month. I thought it was 40, but it's a month. still. I mean, 30. correct, correct me damn. if I'm wrong. I could barely go one day without no drink bro, or water. Can you imagine people that drink coffee eating? every day and then Dude, having just to just water. stop? Water. Yeah. You can swallow your spit all day. That's it. That's nuts. Yeah. yeah I got. I, I do a, the graveyard shift. <laughs> I got a good homie, my brother Kareem, and I fucking see him sometimes when we're in the office, and he's just like, Yeah, he's I'm, out of it. I'm asking it's him crazy. like questions. He's like, You decide. Have like, you done it? Have I? I've, I mean, I've fasted before, but not. You haven't like done Ramadan. Way, no, not no, yeah, not, bro. no, me neither. That's crazy. I feel like yeah. I would die. I can do like intermittent fasting where I won't like um, eat for like two, three days. But I'll still be chugging water throughout the days. I, I only don't eat when I'm hungover. <laughs> Every weekend. I need to eat. Shoot. <laughs> all right. All right. And one of the last things we got. Ooh, Poppy. Poppy. The man, the myth, the legend. Poppy Mr. Trump. Mr. Donald J. Trump. So, you know, I really <laughs> wanted to talk about this topic. Uh, but no, so what's going on? I, I mean, there's always something going on with Trump, obviously, whether you like him or you love him, whatever. Bro, so what's you going on right him, now? Right but now. right now, so he is uh, going, the trial hasn't started for the quote unquote hush money. What's the hush um, money? The hush money was, I believe, about he was paying off attorneys um, and they're saying it was illegal because of X, Y, Z. Paying off attorneys? Yeah. Like, like to, hush money, like get rid of certain things going on. Uh, so 
the trial is taking cor- uh, course in New York, which is obviously the total opposite views of Trump. They're liberal. He's conservative. So that's number one. But on Monday, I don't know how many we were looking it up, but there was like at least six or seven uh, jurors. I think maybe like 10 or 12 jurors that were uh, rejected um, because at first they said they could have basically an unbiased opinion in the trial. But then they were interviewing, I saw on social media after, and one of the girls was, yeah, I could be unbiased, but I definitely don't agree with Trump, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, how can you be unbiased, right? But I feel like in any trial, whether it's this large scale like Trump or little civil suits in your own city, like you're a little biased once you hear what goes on. Like that's human nature. How can you be unbiased? Isn't it crazy that one of our presidential candidates running for office is currently also and being, former presidents and former president one and is, the same is being tried right now it's crazy like how crazy is that that's fucking crazy i feel like yeah. a lot of it is you know everyone has their views on it i feel like a lot of it is they don't want him to win because for whatever reason because i don't know out, the country was in a better place back then bro like before covid yeah. 2000 what 16 to 2020 right before he got out of office like the economy was booming people had jobs unemployment rate would at, was at the lowest in decades like interest rates were low gas was low and then all of a sudden covid hits biden gets into office inflation goes up price of gas interest rates everyone is fucking hating life it's crazy because I, I I had a lot of arguments with uh, even like family members when he was in office. They're like, you got to vote him out of office. You know, you got to pick between the greater of two evils or whatever. And I'm just like, you're going to see what happens if you vote the opposition. You yeah. know what I mean? And we're seeing it right now, unfortunately. Unfortunately. You know I mean? yeah. um, but Bobby Trump, you know, 2020, whatever, till fucking whenever. I hope he can stay office forever and keep running this we'll, show and we'll see what happens we'll with the trial happens, you know what i mean um so if he gets tried and he gets like you know convicted for, convicted of all that he, stuff, i don't believe you could run for presidency you can't huh? no if you've had like a felony or what were you telling about convicted? these properties too they're trying to take yeah so like mar largo if for anyone that doesn't know mar largo is a massive massive estate compound bro that's a fucking compound yeah in the keys here in florida south florida and it's literally estimated anywhere from i believe like six seven hundred million up to a billion because this thing is literally like you talk about like conglomerates <laughs> rick ross and drake going at each other with properties like he owns them both <laughs> mar largo is just out of this hemisphere How and many square feet is mar largo i don't know look that shit up real quick. i gotta look real quick but yeah but anyway so basically the attorney general of new york and all their people were basically saying that Mar Largo was only worth eighteen million. Yes. When it's estimated to be worth like at least five hundred mil, if not more. Close to a billion. So So you Florida, go from a billion to eighteen million? It's worth four hundred and twenty. Rick Ross's million. piece of dirt is thirty seven. Yeah, this guy's How is Mar Largo eighteen? This like is, that was the controversy. Yeah, four hundred and twenty million. Yeah. Like that's crazy. And that's online. This like, thing's 63,000 square feet. So two of Rick Ross's compounds where he's beefing with Drake. Yeah, this guy fucking has just, that's one of his properties. Not to mention his other real estate. Yeah, portfolio. literally. You know? So it's crazy. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah. But other well, than that, before we hop off, what do we got? UFC event? Holloway? Dude, bro, Bandy, if you're still on, that shit was nuts, dude. One second left. Right here at the bottom. Oh, the Holloway knockout? Dog. That was insane. What I saw the highlights. I didn't see it live. But I don't know too much about the... One second the, left, bro. Yeah, I don't know too much <laughs> what fucking the BMF title stands for or what it's about. Oh, but Bandy, you dog, know I'm here. He fucking knocked his motherfucker out. If there's a definition of a bad motherfucker... Well, Holloway was winning, right? Holloway was winning. If so it went him, to decision, he, he would have won. won. Yeah. And so, he was the one being like... Calling him out. But he's known to do that, bro. Yeah. A lot of his fights, he fucking comes out towards the end and he's like, let's stand right here and fucking bang it out. You know, and he did it. And they're fucking trading. Shout out to Gaethje because Gaethje's a fucking savage. He's a warrior, too, bro. You know what I mean? 
But Holloway's been known to do stuff like that. And he put him on his Dude, face, one bro. second left in the last round. Like, it was over. I mean, he would have lost anyway. Uh, but still, Gaethje. if he would have caught but Holloway. If he would have caught, he yeah, he, he would have been done, yeah, too. Yeah, that's that's what, but, hey, like Bandy said, what, BMF? Bad motherfucker, bro. That's crazy. And what's it also for? The Banta weight or Banter, whatever? middleweight, something, something. But it's bad motherfucker, yeah, bro. Obviously. That's the whole point of the belt. I don't really understand it too much because... It, it yeah. doesn't, I don't know. It's all the lingo bad there. Bad motherfucker. Um, yeah. Whooped his and then ass, man. what about McGregor coming back? McGregor Shoot. coming back. What's I it in Vegas he, in June? I think he's done, though. You going to hit that fight? I don't know, man. But I think he's done. I don't think he's got it in him anymore. He's he's already know. fucking paid up. All the juice has gone to his head. And I don't know, doggy. You know what I mean? I he's don't living, think, bro. I don't think McGregor. He's paid. No, he's paid. He's chilling. I don't think he has that fight in him anymore you know what i mean from before maybe he was a underdog always not maybe. underdog but like it came from like the rough and he just had more I mean? like, like more grit to him grit you know what i mean like yeah did it for a purpose and now that he's paid he's like he's i think he's lost that you know what i mean so i don't know man we'll see what happens with that whole mcgregor shit but i i don't want to see him win <laughs> i don't know Dog, uh, he's the Mayweather of UFC. Everyone will tune in just to see him lose. Oh, for sure. People are going to tune in to watch him fight no matter what. It's going to be a high fucking grossing pay-per-view event for sure. But, McGregor's uh, like any of these stars, right? Like, okay, you got um, you got Mayweather. You know, people said he was washed, but he still went 50-0. They tune in to see him lose, but he won. Never lost. You got Tiger and golf, which he's washed up, but... If he's like he was just at the Masters and he did decent, decent the first couple of days and then you know dropped off. But off. you know how much money his name just being in the conversation at Augusta made for like the PGA Tour. Yeah. And I feel like that's what Dana White and McGregor both want for the UFC to keep it top of mind. So it's like it, it's all, dude. It's all strategic. When you're at that high of a level, all this shit is strategic. Everything is a business move whether you think it is or not. So what do you think about that whole shit with Tyson and fucking your boy? That's all a business move. Yeah. For sure. Fuck I don't like it personally because, like, it's Mike Tyson, bro. Like, like he's you don't need to be going now. up against Jake Paul. Like, let Jake Paul go up against, like, a Conor McGregor or, like, these Jake Paul kind ain't of doing new, that shit, though, new, bro. new era, the Fighters, modern era yeah. kind of thing. Like, bro, you, like, I don't Jake know. Paul's scared to I don't mess fight with the it. real fighters, bro. Bro, he's, I don't know. I mean, I know Mike Tyson bro. is old, but... Dog, did you see him train? No, yeah, he's that fool sad. can still freaking whap. Yeah, he can like he can, he can knock your fucking Jake head Paul's off. is gonna have it in for him, well, just we'll like see. he had it in for him for Fury, and he yeah. lost. No, we'll see, man. But uh, hopefully, Mike Tyson wins. Just for all us old heads that want to see him do well, straight you know up. What I mean, but um, I don't know, man. One of the uh, goats. One of the goats, bro. I want to see him fucking do well. Fuck so what? What else we got? What else we got? Um, but yeah, I mean. This is our first live. We're uh, hey, Bandy, in the Bandy. What about that one time we saw you fucking throw down in the living room? Oh <laughs> shoot, you were there. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Shout out to Jordan, man, our boy. I remember one time we went. <laughs> he didn't out. even want to do it either. I was like, we he went, doesn't want that smoke. And we, Bandy was like, I know, but we he's pushing out, me. We went out drinking, and uh, one of our boys in the live right now. Fuck, dude. Did he say something? No. Hands rated E for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he freaking jacked that fool up. Shout out to Bandy. But uh, that was nasty, bro. I was fucking sleeping. I just hear <clears throat> <laughs> that dude got put to sleep. Nah, shout out to Bandy, bro. Love but, you, baby. Hope all is well over you. Uh, wherever where you're at right now. Uh, shout out to you and your family, big dog. Who's out to the MIA, dog? He got a spot. He won't. He won't. But uh, yeah. Appreciate you all for tuning in. This is our first live, like we said. So if we're a little rusty, give us a little break. Uh, the ones to come after this are going to be a lot more, you know, stuff like this. But we're going to put put some twists on it. You know, we got the fly fits. You know what I'm saying? No shirt underneath. Shit. That's that's the, that's the move. And uh, hell yeah, you're single now. Miami. Oh, Miami's shit, the place man. to be, my guy. I'm uh, telling you. Congratulations, Walk out I our guess. front door. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, but yeah, like Tyler was saying, thank you guys for being on with us. We're going to be doing this stuff every Wednesday. So 
when you guys have certain things you guys want to talk about, talk to us about, talk shit about, just talk in general, join us, you know, drop a comment and uh, let us know what's on your mind. But we'll be talking about, you know, current events of that week and uh, what's going on in pop culture, you know, um, politics, whatever. Just you anything. Know, we're here to chop it up with you guys and we're going to keep on dropping those uh, interviews with people. But this is something yeah. to kind of keep it, you know, in between. We got some know. few in the works. That's coming. In the bag. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and on the other lives too, real quick, we want you guys shoot us texts, DMs, whatever, about topics or stuff that you guys want to talk about, whatever the whatever it is. Kylie. Kylie. What's, what's up, up, girl? girl? Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> let us know, you know, what you guys want to talk about. We want to, again, like the, the whole point of this Hump Day Chronicles is to bring stuff to you guys, but you guys bring stuff to us. Whatever dating um, shit that you saw on Instagram or TikTok or whatever, like crazy shit going on, personal things, we'll keep the names, you know, out the mics, but um, just bring stuff to us. We want this to be fun, interactive, stuff to do. And uh, yeah, so next Wednesday, we'll be doing it now at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, Gives you guys a little more time on the East or West Coast to catch up with us. Yep. You know, I know we're a little ahead, so fucking. And whoever's on, on the East Coast, you can sleep in tomorrow. Yee. You know what I'm saying? So 25-8, baby. We out. <laughs>